Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk mainly about the absorption of vitamin B12 and also focus on the causes causing vitamin B12 absorption. Vitamin B12 is very important cause, a treatable cause for megaloblastic anemia. Because vitamin B12 deficiency causes neuropsychiatric manifestation or neuropathy, we should know a few things about its absorption so that we can know a few uh, the causes which are causing vitamin B12 deficiency. So coming to the vitamin B12 absorption, there are a few factors which are responsible or important uh, in the vitamin B12 absorption. Let's consider this green thing being vitamin B12 in diet. Vitamin B12 in diet is not found in a free state. It's always found bound to some form of proteins. So when we intake vitamin B12 in the diet, it's always a for, it's always the complex which is consumed. That is vitamin B12 bound to some or the other proteins found in the diet. The more uh, vitamin B12 absorption whole mechanism starts in the mouth itself. The parotid glands, which supply major salivary part, to uh, contribute major per per portion of the salivary secretions, secrete one form of protein in the mouth that is called haptocorin. This haptocorin is nothing but a vitamin B12 binder which is found in the salivary gland. But this vitamin B12 does not bound, bind it to haptocorin immediately in the mouth because it's already bound to a protein binder which is there in the diet which we consume. So, through the esophagus, this complex of uh, vitamin B12 along with the pro uh, binder it's which is bound to and haptocorin enter separately into the stomach. Once, uh, once this whole thing enters into the stomach, because of production of pepsin, this uh, vitamin B12 R uh, protein binder uh, complex dissociate. And instead, this vitamin B12 binds to haptocorin. One more important factor which we see in the stomach is in the parietal cells of the stomach, there is an important factor which is secreted called the intrinsic factor of Castle. This is secreted by the parietal cells. But once again, this whole complex does not bind to the IF immediately because here in the stomach this vitamin b12 is bound to haptocorin and because it's already bound it cannot bind to a if factor so this whole thing moves into the duodenum once in the duodenum we all know that duodenum receives all parts of the secretions from exocrine pancreas once this complex of vitamin b with the uh, haptocorin and the IF all enter separately because of the basic medium in the duodenum. What happens? This vitamin B12 dissociates from haptocorin. It's found separately. And therefore, it is in the duodenum that the B12 binds with the intrinsic factor. Now there is a complex of IF and B12. This whole thing happens in the duodenum. Once that happens, this complex moves down through the small intestine and it is in the terminal ileum that this complex is absorbed. That is vitamin B12 is absorbed. Terminal ileum has a special uh, cells which are important for absorption. On the uh, luminal side, the cells of the terminal ileum have a receptor called cubilin. And this cubilin is the one which helps in movement of vitamin B12 into the cell. That is, the vitamin B12 enters inside. Now, from the cell, if the uh, vitamin B12 has to move out into the bloodstream, it is bound to another protein. Because without being bound to a protein, vitamin B12 absorption does not occur. 
so this protein is uh, to which vitamin b12 is bound so that it will be absorbed into blood is called trans cobalamin 2 cobalamin refers to vitamin b12 so these are all the factors which are necessary for vitamin b12 absorption so now if we want to look into the causes which are causing vitamin b12 deficiency we can look into them one by one by just knowing where all vitamin b12 absorption happens so the first point first cause where vitamin b12 absorption deficiency can occur is a deficient diet and this is most commonly seen in people who are pure vegetarians so if intake is only not there there's no chance of all the mechanism causing all the absorption so that is the first important cause next cause will be from the parotids just imagine if there is a disease process affecting both the parotid glands or the salivary glands then there will be no production of haptocorin and if haptocorin is not produced vitamin b12 will not bind and if vitamin b12 does not bind to haptocorin no other further process will occur so this procedure can be seen in a disease which is affecting bilateral uh, bilaterally affecting the parotid gland that is nothing but the Jogren syndrome in Jogren syndrome there is lymphocytic infiltration of uh, the uh, secretory glands or exocrine glands and hence parotid is one of the glands and there will be no secretion of uh, or less secretion of saliva and hence this is one of the causes for uh, vitamin b12 absorption deficiency next coming downwards like towards the stomach there are two things happening in the stomach for uh, b12 absorption one is intrinsic factor binding so in, uh, there are two possibilities either there should be no parietal cells to produce intrinsic factor or there should be no stomach itself to cause all of these process so two possibilities the first one is a disease where the par selectively parietal cells are destroyed and that is nothing but the pernicious anemia in pernicious anemia autoantibodies are produced against the parietal cells and because there is destruction of parietal cells on uh, parietal cells on a large scale intrinsic factor is not secreted and if intrinsic factor is not secreted there is no absorption of vitamin b12 so this is one of the cause one more important cause is if there is no stomach itself no stomach no parietal cells no production of if so if patient has undergone gastrectomy okay so two causes here next once why uh, one, imagine if stomach is normal there's no parietal cells are normal next comes next important factor which is important for b12 absorption is the secretions from pancreas so and that is so important because if there is no basic medium which is produced here the uh, vitamin b12 will not dissociate from haptocorin and if it doesn't dissociate from haptocorin it will not bind to uh, intrinsic factor if, if it doesn't bind to intrinsic factor there will be no absorption so the next important cause will be the exocrine pancreas uh, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency this can occur in many of the diseases like if a patient has uh, cystic fibrosis it can happen even in Jogren syndrome but any cause causing exocrine pancreatic insufficiency will produce this kind of picture the last cause which can occur here is in the terminal ileum there's only one thing that can happen then is if there's no terminal ileum there's no then there's no place for all of this to be absorbed so that is if per, a person has undergone ileal resection so the this was mainly about b12 b12 absorption and how their deficiency can cause vitamin b12 deficiency hope this video was useful thank you for watching